In about two weeks, Children's of Alabama and Birmingham has seen its COVID patient numbers jump from single to double digits. December 23rd was the last time doctors saw five children in their care with COVID. As of today, it's now at 14. I think a lot of the surprise, at least in the pediatric population, is really that these are individuals that don't even know that they have COVID maybe until they come in. Um, to the hospital. And that speaks to the larger population because they live with other people who also might have COVID. Dr. Samantha Hill is a physician at the hospital. It's protocol to test patients coming in for treatment related to COVID or not. Maybe they had a stomach bug or, you know, maybe they had a seizure or, you know, a variety of things. Hill says some are vaccinated, others aren't, but they watch them carefully until it's time to go home. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says statewide the Omicron variant has put 34 children in the hospital in addition to 1,100 adults. The question is, does it affect kids more than adults? And I don't know if that's true. Clearly, this infects everybody more than the previous things infected anybody, right? And so more kids are going to get infected than previously. Because what we're seeing is that um, being vaccinated allows this new wave or this current wave of COVID to really be a little less milder, but it's still very transmissible. As of right now, there are no patients on a ventilator. Doctors tell me for children younger than five years old or have medical conditions and can't take the vaccine should still be wearing a mask. They say it could be a mask with a filter in it or a KN95 or N95 mask will work well too. In Birmingham, I'm Magdala Lassant, WVTM 13.